leads to some really good damage as well. Holy shit, their combo is kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, it seems our elegant palace has been taken over by Lily, and it is now the Elegant Palace. Uh, how do you say that in French? Is it Palais Elegant? I don't know, I'm only part French. Anyway, where do we start with Lily? I think we should start with movement. That's one of the things that Lily kind of excels at, is having really good movement. She has a really good sidestep. She always did. And you combine that with Feisty Rabbit, and she moves around quite a bit. Also, because of her idle stance, I think she has one of the goofiest backdashes in the game. It's... I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what it is about this. It just makes me laugh. Uh, oh, while we're on the topic of everybody's favorite Korean Dance Dance Revolution move, the Korean backdash, Lily also has this. Look at the distance that gets. And you can do that pretty fast as well. I'm not really the fastest at doing that. It doesn't really replace your Korean backdash. But you can do some crazy shit from it. Since you are doing a down back input, you can do a wild standing move from that. Okay, enough messing around with weird movement. Now let's go over some of Lily's good moves, starting with Jab. It has okay range. It can whiff sometimes though because of weird animations. But it's a good 10 frame either way. Plus 8 on hit, plus 1 on block. Your Jab extensions, 1, 2. Double high, really good. Plus 8 on hit, minus 3 on block. You do have 1, 2, 4 and 1, 2, 3, which some people will tell you is a mix-up, but it's, it's not that good. These aren't natural. You can use them sometimes, but is it really a mix? Like, the low is minus 13, which can be pretty dangerous if you're going up against, like, Hazia or something. And this is safe, but yeah, it's pretty steppable. It's steppable both ways as well. Yeah, so not not as good. You also have 1-1, one, one, which is plus 4 on hit, takes you into back turn automatically. And I believe it's minus 4? Yeah, minus 4 on block. You also have another 10 frame in 2-4, knocks down on hit. Not a proper knockdown though. And this is minus 2 on block, but the second hit is a high, so you can duck it. Also, by the way, 2 by itself has also pretty wonky reach. Like, I'm pretty sure it's less than the standard jab. Down forward 1. Has pretty decent reach, I have to say. Like, holy shit. Plus 8 on hit, minus 1 on block. Down forward 1, pretty good. Down forward 4, minus 2 on hit. It's minus 6 on block. Does have a follow up extension into another 4. Leaves you minus 2 on hit. And minus 13 on block. But on counter hit, the, four by it's, the down forward 4 by itself is plus 5, which is pretty decent. Down forward 3, really good mid, 20 frames. It does say 22, but most of the time you're using it close range anyways. Plus 8 on hit. Plus 3 on block. Pretty good. And it also launches on counter hit. A full combo, by the way. If I can remember the combo. Wrong combo! Yeah, decent damage. And that wasn't even a good combo. Forward 1 plus 2, 14, 215 frame mid. It's only 15 at like the furthest distance away that you can get to it. But it's plus 4 on hit. Minus 7 on block, which is safe. And on counter hit, guarantees a 1 plus 2. Now out in the open, that's a decent damage. But this becomes even more dangerous at the wall. Wall splats. Down forward three. Pretty good advancing low, 19 frames. And mix that in with your down forward ones and stuff. Minus 12 on block though, plus one on hit. On counter hit, it's plus five. Down one, two. This, is, this move is fucking annoying, I have to say. <laughs> Holy shit. A pretty good low as well. Kind of annoying to deal with. Down one by itself is zero on hit. Minus 11 on block. But 1 and 2 is natural. But do keep in mind that on block, uh, that's death. <laughs> you just saw there. 
you can duck the second hit. However, on hit, it does jail. You can't duck that second hit. The first one hits, the second one is going to hit. You can also hold back to go into back turn at plus three. Pretty damn good. Next, we have forward, forward, four, the stomp. This move is pretty good as well. It's about 22 frames. Plus four on hit. Minus 12 on block. Also plus four on counter hit, but you see the stagger is a bit different. The on hit effect. Oh shit, wrong move. See, Lee is staggered with that one compared to this plus four. Now the reason for that is because you can go into back turn if you hold back. This move becomes plus 10 on hit, but that's a fake plus 10. For example, back turn one is an eight frame move. If I land forward, 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 back turn, this doesn't connect. It's a fake plus 10. One of the crazier things, though, is the stomp on block. If you hold back to go into back turn, instead of minus 12, it becomes minus 6. Kind of nuts. But on counter hit, this becomes a true plus 10 because of that stagger. And how we know it's a true plus 10? That connects. It works. Which means you get a free heat engager. Back one. Really good mid. 17 frames. This is actually going to be important later on with combos. For, uh, if I can get the timing, god damn it. This shit. We'll cover that later on in the video. But as you saw there, it is plus 8 on hit if you go into dew glide by holding forward. Plus 2 by itself. It does have follow up 4. I don't think you get anything from that though, even on counter hit. But with dew glide, plus 8. Pretty damn good. On block, it's minus six. However, if you do glide, it becomes zero. But on counter hit, if you do glide, this becomes plus 14. See, there it's plus eight on counter hit. Do glide, plus 14. At plus 14 with do glide, you get a guaranteed follow up. Either three plus four, or two one heat engager. So this move, and has a lot of purpose, actually. Forward 4, 17 frame mid. This move is actually really good. Plus 7 on hit, and look at the distance this covers, by the way. Like, holy shit. On block, minus 9, so it's safe. Combine its long reach, because of Lily's long-ass legs. And you also have a counter-hit launcher here. Right, let's see if I remember the combo. Oh, wrong combo. Leads to some really good damage as well. Holy shit, that combo is kind of annoying to do. Next, we have forward three. It's about 22, 20 frames, 22 frames. Up close, you can get it at 20 frames. It's plus 17 on hit, but it does give us knockdown. Uh, I can't remember if a quarter circle forward three is guaranteed there. I don't think it is. On block, it is minus three. By the way, it's on counter hit. Counter hit guarantees the quarter circle forward three. You have to dash up though. That's the guaranteed one. So it's a decent 20 frame homing mid. Three plus four, of course, elegant. It's a 23 frame homing double high heat engager, so it's plus 17 on hit. Right, let's move. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got hit by this more times than I'm willing to remember. My God, this move is fucking annoying sometimes. Double high means you can duck it, but when are you actually ducking this? <laughs> like maybe some people can. I get hit by this all the time. Also, it is minus two on block and jails, meaning you can't duck that second hit. Up forward three, hop kick. Hop kicks are always good, nice to have. 15 frame, it does say 17 as well, but again, that's a distance thing. Pretty hard to actually get it to come out at 17. And of course, combos on hit, if I can remember the combo. Minus 13 on hit, so that's pretty standard for a hop kick. We also have Lily's 3, just the standing 3. By itself, it's 15, but at tip range, it becomes 16, which is kind of slightly weird. It does go into back turn by itself, but as you can see, it's like minus 3 on hit. Minus 11 on block, but it does have a follow-up 1. Natural heat engager, 3-1. On block, minus 13. 
You also have three two, but this is more so for combos, but you can, if you land it, go for Duke Glide. Now that's quite a bit already, and we have not gone into stances yet. And I know some of you might be wondering, what about down forward three plus four? Do not be misled by this move. It is only good sometimes. It's not like you're down forward one that's good all the time. <laughs> Do not fall into the trap of using this all the time. Don't look at my gameplay and see me running into this like a dumbass. I'm trying to land a forward forward three or something with leap. So don't, don't rush and use that move. Constantly, you will die for it because it is extremely steppable. Can be stepped both ways as well. Down forward three plus four. Again, like I said, it's only good sometimes, especially if you, I guess, combine it with stuff like this. Can I get a down forward, please? Thank you. Yeah, combining it with some of your movement, it can be good sometimes as a whiff punisher or something. But it's a bad habit move to be throwing this all the time. Now with most, well, maybe not even all, but some of Lily's good moves out of the way, let's move on to Punishers, which I have in my notes here is on page 7. That's, that's how much notes I have, what the fuck? Where's page 7? Okay, now it's time for Lily's Punishers. For 10 frame, you have 1-1 one, one for back turn stance, you have 1-2 for plus frames, and you have 2-4 for damage. Now for 11 frames, Lily doesn't really have an 11 frame punish even though you do have down back two you can see the range is kind of shit so instead just use a 10 frame for 12 frame standing four now this isn't the best 12 frame but there might be weird cases where you have to use it but in general you're going to use one plus two but i'm pretty sure you i'm not sure if it picked up there the first time i did it but look at that we we at starting distance it has a chance to whiff and then you see it comes out at 13 instead when it actually hits so this is more of a closer 12 frame so you see the the weirdness and why you would sometimes use four however you do also have forward two three which can be used as your 12 frame punish as well it's just again it kind of depends sometimes you might have to use this Sometimes you have to use forward 2, 3, and if you're close enough, you can just do 1 plus 2. For 13 frame, even though you have down forward 1 or down forward 4, it's better off if you use some kind of 12 frame, like you can even use your 1 plus 2 here as well. And you also have back to 1 glide, but you see that. Wacky range issues on some stuff. For 14 frames, you're using a 12 or 13 frame. There is no 14 frame that I can think of right now. I don't think there is one. For 15 frame, you have the hop kick, but there are some weird cases where you might be just slightly out of reach like that. I didn't even move that far back. That was me just look, slightly back and it whiffs. In those weird cases, you have 3-2 or 3-1. For while standing punishers, for 11 frame, you have... Uh, what if the goofier 11 frame while standing moves in the game? Look at that. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. <laughs> also, that that is a well standing move, by the way. I'm just doing it out of Dew Glide. Dew Glide 4 and your well standing 4 are basically the same thing. It is a well standing move, though. At 13 frame, you have well standing 1 2 into Glide. For 14 frame, you can use well standing 1 2. Or if you're fast enough with this, you can actually block low and then do full crouch down forward 1. Like there, you can see that's a punish. I missed it. What? Yeah, again, you have to be pretty fast for it. For 15 frame, you have while standing 3, which also bounds on hit. Or if you're fast enough, you can hop kick from crown. At minus 16, you have while standing 2, which leads to some wacky combos as well because there's some delay. I'm trying to remember which combo it was. Uh, never mind, I can't think of it right now. But yeah, while standing 2 for 16, or you can, again, Pouch cancel Hopkin. Now let's move on to Lily's stances, which is on page three. Where the fuck is page three now? Stances. So Lily has three stances, starting with Dew Glide, quarter circle forward. This is kind of uh, your pressure stance and your combo stance in a sense, thanks to the cancel. Being able to cancel Dew Glide into other things. Mirror image, also known as back turn. This is back three plus four. This is kind of your mix-up stance. It can be used in combo sometimes as well, though, thanks to this. And then you have Feisty Rabbit. It's either back three or back four. Uh, this is more of your evasive stance in a sense. It's not really used in combos. It's more so you're trying to open up some space, open up a whiff punish. You know, sidestep Feisty Rabbit. What is it? Feisty Rabbit 2. 
You're trying to get your opponent to whiff with that and then land a hit. So let's start off with Feisty Rabbit. So Feisty Rabbit and four. Pretty decent mid. There's, there's a lot of times where you can get this to land. On hit, you get the knockdown. On block, this is minus two. Please block Lee. Minus two, yeah. Pretty safe. Pretty damn safe for something that looks like this. And it's a mid. And this move does wall splat as well. Feisty Rabbit 3, this fucking evasive homing low. My god, this move can be annoying sometimes as well. Plus 3 on hit, you don't really get much guaranteed from this. It's more, what wild standing move are you going to do next? Right there, minus 13. And with all of that evasiveness, it is also a counter hit launcher. We also have Feisty Rabbit 2, which is a 20 frame mid heat engager. So plus 17 on hit. Minus 9 on block. <laughs> it's safe. So as you can see with the stance, it's mostly you trying to get your opponent to whiff something. For example, uh, let's have Lee Mimic. So if I hit back 3... <laughs> my god. Poor Lee, man. Off Lee, please. <laughs> So you're trying to get a whiff and then punish and of course combining it with your movements of so sidestep fights to your rabbit you can also combine this with your dew glide cancelling as well this becomes pretty awkward now let's move on to back turn on back three plus four mirror image this is the mix-up stance like i said before and you have good ways of getting into the stance as well, like 1-1 one, one as a 10 frame punish puts you into it. You have down 1-2. You have forward forward 4 hold back. Uh, your down forward 2 actually takes you into the stance as well, and your while standing 2. So you have good ways of getting into the stance, and you also have good moves in the stance as well. First off, back, turn 1-2. That is an 8 frame move, by the way. Back turn 1 by itself is plus 3 on hit. Minus 8 on block. As you saw, you get a knockdown on hit, but it's also used in your combo. Since it has a tornado. Back turn 1, 2 is also minus 13 on block. But it is a quick move if you feel your opponent is going to push buttons. You also have back turn 1, 4, heat engager. An 8 frame heat engager. How nice. <laughs> so on hit, of course, heat engager plus 17. On block, minus 5. But do be careful with this because your opponent can duck underneath it. So that's kind of your mix up there is uh, are you going to do 1 4? Or are you going to do something like 1 2? Next up, we have back turn 2. A 14 frame mid power crush from back turn. As you can see, plus 8 on hit. On block, this is minus 13 though. Yep, minus 13. But again, it's just like with 1-2 one, and 1-4, one, it's if you feel your opponent is going to push buttons. Back turn 3-4, this annoying shit. It's a double It's a double mid homing attack, and I always, for some reason, even though I know it's a mid, I always think that second hit is a high for some reason. It's, it's stupidly annoying. 3 by itself is neutral on hit. Minus 10 on block. 3-4 is minus 12, by the way, so... I don't know why you would just stop at the 3 most of the time, unless you completely whiff. But your opponent can actually step that second hit either way. Also, on hit, this does guarantee a follow-up. Pretty sure your follow-ups here are either... Does forward 3 work? I'm so sure forward 3 works, yep. Forward 3. You have 1 plus 2 as well. And quarter circle forward 3. If I can get it, yep. There we go. That's probably the most damage. Back turn 3 plus 4. Again, it's good sometimes because of the evasion. It's also plus 7 on hit. For some reason, plus 2 on block. Also has a lot of reach. It's also pretty hard to land this at tip range, but at tip range, it becomes plus 9. I'm gonna see if I can try and get this. No, just out of way. Come on. There, maybe? Nope. My god, it's hard to do this at tip range. Uh, uh, there we go. Plus nine. But for the sake of simplicity and 
the fact that it's really hard to land this at top range anyway. Just think of it as always being plus 7. Back turn down 3-4. Uh, you might as well use both hits here. I don't see a reason not to. It's a 17 frame low. Down 3 by itself is minus 1 on hit. And it's also minus 17 on block. But 3-4 is of 30. It's minus 13 and is a mid. It's not like your opponent is going to duck underneath this move. So it's kind of less punish. You're still getting punished if you use it. But it's kind of less punishing if your opponent blocks this instead of just blocking down 3. On counter hit, it knocks down, kind of. I don't think you get anything from that. Back turn down 3 plus 4. Holy shit, the wipe the floor move. It, it's basically a hell sweep. So you know it's death on block. But on hit, it guarantees a down 3, 4 follow up. Because you're back in back turn. Back turn down 2. This fucking move. God damn. <laughs> 16 frame low, plus 5 on hit. Super evasive as well. Minus 12 on block. My god. I, I, for some reason, I always thought Lily hits you with her knee here. She's actually smacking you, but yeah, I think it's the animation. Also, again, with this move, because you're encroaching, if your opponent's trying to push buttons, you can try and snipe them with a while standing 3. But again, that's kind of death on block. On counter hit, this knocks down, and I don't know if you get anything off that knockdown. And then, of course, we have back turn 1 plus 2. So along with your annoying lows, you have a mid that launches our normal hit. And it's a 13 frame mid as well. This can lead to some pretty decent damage if I remember the combo. Uh, what's the combo for this? Yeah, so look at that. Even off just the basic combo that I know how to do. 77 damage. Not bad at all. And it's also minus 11 on block. That is not bad at all. And I showed this earlier, but of course you have the, the wacky movement from back turn. It's just holding down back. And if you tap back, you get slightly faster recovery off that. You can also chain it together, but I'm just, I'm just not, good, I'm not good at doing it yet. So as you can see from back turn, you have a lot of good moves. You have fast highs, you have really good mids, you have annoying as fuck lows. This is your mix-up. Are you going to be annoying people with lows or are you just going to launch them? Holy shit, four pages of notes in and now we're on dual glide. So finally, we're on dual glide, quarter circle forward. Uh, again, this is partly a pressure stance and also an important combo stance because of your ability to cancel it. Dual glide three. 17 frame mid. This does hit grounded as you've seen before. It's also used in your combos as a bound. And it's minus 9 on block. Also, dual glide 3 can be really annoying to do in some combos. So I would say if you're learning, try and avoid it because... Yeah, like that. That is actually one of the combos. Oh, so annoying to land. The timing on that is so strict. Oh, there we go. Actually got it. You have to be pretty fucking fast to get that, I'm not gonna lie. And you also have to understand the recovery of this move, which is annoying. Next up, we have the goofy move, Dew Glide 4, which is basically your while standing 4. You can do it from Dew Glide. I don't... <laughs> this... <laughs> this animation, though. God damn. Uh, there's nothing too special about this move. It's a 11 frame mid that kind of knocks down on hit. Uh, it is minus 9 on block. Yeah, minus 9 on block. But but it's still good. It's just goofy as fuck to me. <laughs> My god, man. Dual Glide 3 plus 4. Man, I like this move. This was Lily's bound, I think, in Tekken 7. Pretty sure this was the bound. Now, it is 12 to 14 frames on startup. Most of the time, you're getting it around 13, I would say. I'm not really sure where you would get this at 12. Oh yeah, like point blank, you're getting it at 12. But if you notice from here, it's actually 13. So in general, you can say you're getting it at around 12 or 13. It is a double high though, which means your opponent can duck it. But it's plus 17 on hit, like a fucking heat engager, holy shit. It's also plus 6 on block. And like I showed earlier with back 1, if back 1 counter hits, that move is guaranteed. 
two at the wall. Extremely dangerous because this wall splats. Dew Glide 2 1. 14 frame homing mid heat engager. The two by itself is zero on hit. Minus nine on block, so it's safe. A really good safe homing mid. 2 1 though is minus 13 on block. And again, if back one counter hits, it becomes guaranteed. Dew Glide 1 2 and Dew Glide 1 4. Kind of putting these together here. As you saw, Dew Glide 1 4 is minus 9 on block, so it's safe. Dew Glide 4 by itself, oh, Dew Glide 1, sorry, by itself is minus 4 on hit, which is kind of weird. But I guess it's because of the follow ups. But on counter hit, it is plus 2. Also on counter hit, the 4 becomes guaranteed. But usually, Dew Glide 1 4 is what you're using to end most of your combos. Dew Glide 1 2 does knock down on hit, but you can see it pushes them pretty far away. Minus 14 on block. But you can super delay the follow up. And the reason for that delay is because the 2 is a counter hit launcher. The combo, I don't remember. Oh shit, that don't work. Never mind. I'm too tired to do combos. Dew Glide 1 plus 2, 16 frame mid power crush. It kind of knocks the opponent down, not entirely. So it's plus 17 on hit. Kind of more for pressure than anything else. It's minus 11 on block, which is kind of crazy. And the reason I find that kind of crazy is because this move... Wall splats. Oh my god, can I get it? Lee, please go this way, please! Lee! Oh shit, I don't have standard approach on weirdness of these angles so yeah the wall splats it also bounds yeah it, it's a tornado move and also wall breaks <laughs> what the fuck it's safe on well not exactly safe on block minus 11 what the fuck so as you can see the stance has a lot of good mid attacks good mid attacks yeah, that, that's a sentence that makes sense good yeah good mid hitting attacks so that's why I see it as more of the pressure stance, especially with the Dew Glide cancels. The only thing the stance doesn't have are lows, basically. Because you have a high, you have all the mids. But that's where the cancel comes into play, because you can just cancel into a low. If I can get the cancel properly, there we go. Now this segment of the video, I was going to have combos here. And normally that's what I would do, is I would have some basic combo stuff here. But I've already been recording for almost an hour, and I'm also on page six of my notes. If I add combos in here, how many more fucking pages would I have? Jeez. Uh, also, you're going to find combo videos basically everywhere. So instead of that, I'm going to actually go over a bit of like tips and stuff while I was learning Lily to try and help you guys learn Lily. Well, her combos or how to do some of the stuff in her combos, as well as the Dew Glide cancel, because you're going to be using that in combos as well. If you're going for the more difficult combos, you don't really need them. But if you want to start learning the fancy shit, and well, this is just good out in neutral anyways as well to know how to do. So I'll go over that as well here. So the first tip I can give, I guess, for Lily's combos, where yeah, I guess these are tips. Uh, remember that they are weird. Lily's combos are weird as fuck. Like, and, and what I mean by this is that they do not move in a straight line all the time. For example, I'm gonna do something basic here. Up forward three, down forward two, forward two, one. If that, me saying the inputs and trying to do the combo at the same time is ass. Forward two, one, forward, forward three. And then you follow it up with Dew Glide three. So that's the combo, basically. The basic fucking combo. Uh, what do I do as an ender there? I don't remember. We'll just do that as an ender. But look at where we are. We're basically at the corner of the stage. I did not sidestep or do any other shit within that combo. I, did, I was pressing forward the entire time, for the most part. Forward, forward three. Forward two, three. But look at where we are compared to where we started. And that's what I mean about Lily's combos. They just kind of naturally move off axis. It's weird as fuck. 
especially for the more complicated combos. And that kind of ties into the second tip I have here, which is remember to sidestep in your combos. Maybe not at the start of your combo, because that can also lead to some weird shit happening as well, because... Oh, it actually worked this time. For some reason, sometimes if you're just slightly off axis, that whiffs. Oh, maybe I'm just getting faster. Never mind. Oh, there we go. There's the whiff. So I got it twice and then it whiffed on the third one. It's, it's really weird. But you would think a sidestep would keep you lined up a bit more. But it doesn't. Which is why most of the time you'll see a lot of combos that bound immediately. So you have that chance to sidestep mid-combo. Like for example here, you saw that whiff. Down to hit forward four. Down four. Uh, dual glide three, dual glide three. That, that has a chance to whiff. So to make it a bit more consistent, you sidestep left. So your sidesteps with Lily's combos, sometimes they're to the right if you're doing stuff like up 3-3 three, three and then going for dual glide cancel. Sometimes it's to the left at like the start of the combo. Again, like with this. Or you can sidestep after the bounce. Oh my god, I didn't tap up. What am I doing? <laughs> I forgot the combo. Oh shit, did the wrong thing again. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of like two other combos in my head here and they're clashing. And that's what I wanted to do. So you get some pretty decent damage there as well. And the third tip I guess I can give for the combos here as well is... Remember that the fancy complicated combo isn't always the best option. Especially online with lag. For example, that combo... I'm pretty sure that combo can actually do 70. I think I did something wrong there in the combo. But you saw how wacky that combo actually was. It's your hop kick forward 2-3. You have to dash up, sidestep into an up 3-3. Three, three. Some people might find it easy. Some people that are learning might find this a bit tricky to do at times. And then, of course, it can whiff. If you don't have the proper angle on it in the sidestep. It's really annoying. But that combo does about 70. I think I missed... Uh, a glide cancel one, a back one there. But if you just do something like like that, also that's another thing. Remember the whiff jab part of your combos. It does roughly the same damage, and it's way easier to do. I'm pretty sure I did the combo wrong actually. Yeah, I did the wrong combo earlier. That's the combo. It's back 2-1, not back 1. But... We do the basic bitch combo that I showed earlier with a jab. And then do up 3-3. Three, three, we get the same damage for much less effort. So again, the fancy combo might not always be worth the effort if you know how to do other stuff. those of you that are struggling with this, you whiff the jab there. So immediately after you get the bound... Oh, immediately after you get the bound, just start jabbing. But don't try and press it too much, because you might actually get a 1-1. One, one. So right there. That's where you want to jab. Just after Lily does that. You jab. Now let's move on to do glide cancels. How am I looping back one like this? Well, we know back one can go into do glide. And to cancel out of do glide, you tap up, which is a sidestep. Pretty simple. But if you hold back, you actually cancel the sidestep and you're now blocking. But since we're holding back, if we press one, we get a back one. And when you get a back one, you hold forward and you get you glide. So it's that. That's all you're doing. Of course, there are other moves that you can do from this instead. Stuff like down three. 
but that's the basics of the Duke lane. And as you're getting used to it, you can start doing it faster and faster, of course. And you can actually do this from anything that goes into Duke lane. You can do back to one. You can do forward, forward three. Uh, like you saw earlier for the combo, you can do stuff like that. But how do you practice this? Well, you can be a dinosaur like me, the same way I learned how to do back two loops with Lee and stuff, just doing this over and over again. <laughs> Might be helpful to some of you. Also, don't just stick with back one. As you're getting a bit more used to this, start throwing in stuff like back two one. It's going to be pretty awkward as you're doing this. But it's to break things up. It's to get you used to doing the cancel, not used to doing the same move over and over again. Also, to help you out here, go into your practice settings. Ah, wrong ones. Display settings. Your player frame info. Go to simple display. Now, this is going to be pretty annoying. But you see how Lily turns blue there when you land the hit to show the plus frames. If you hold forward, you're still blue. But if we set Lee to block all, and we do this cancel, oh well, back one into Dugle, you see that Lily turns white. It's to show the animation. And what you're aiming for is after Lily turns white, to tap up. And you see she kind of flashes like that again. At that point, you want to press back one again. Now to help you out with this, don't just press back one because that might lead to some pretty weird scenarios where nothing happens or you might get a jab so instead you press back first and then one so what you're aiming for is this constant flashing which you can get really fucking annoying by the way so i don't recommend sticking with this for too long another way to practice that's kind of more practical in a sense is to sidestep to the right and do an up 3-3 three, three into your Duke line. And try to cancel that into a back one. And try to get that three times in a row. And you see that it does work. Also, after that third one, try and get the bound, which is just hold forward and then hit three so that you get Duke Light three. Just like that. So that's another way for you to practice it. And also, don't just do that. Try landing your 2-1 as well. So your cancel back to one And lastly, go into practice settings again. Set your counter hit to on. Okay, I have Lee standing, so blocking. And do down back three. After you're down back three, do three, two, and hold forward. You're going to get do glide. And here, try and do your cancels. With this one, you're trying to get at least two. You can again go for your back two, one. You're up there. God damn it! I'm still getting used to this. And you can also do your back to one into another back one into a bone. Again, the point is to try and get used to doing this stuff. Not really to learn this as a combo. You can get three from that, but learning it to do it at least twice in a row should be enough for your combos. Another combo that you can practice if you really want to is counter hit forward four. Oh God. Duke Light 3 into another Duke Light 3. 3, 2. It does work. I'm just doing it slower. Three, two, and then your cancels. You're trying to get two back ones there. Into a forward. Oh, well, Duke Light. 1, 4. Pretty practical combo as well. A bit more consistency thing here for your for your practice is have this kind of setup where your 
uh, your back up against the wall. So uh, set your opponent to stand and approach. Back yourself up to the wall. Set that off. Slightly go to a sidestep right. And you can set this location. There's a, you can see it on the bottom right, up on the bottom left there, where it says remember and reproduce. You can save that location and then reproduce it. And then just practice your combo. Uh, for those of you that, well, while you're still learning, don't actually go for a combo like that. Instead, you can just do something like this. You can see, it's only three less damage. You can see that you, you can actually do this mid screen as well. It's just that from here you actually have a bit more space to work. God damn it! So the combo there is you sidestep left and then do your two quarter circle forward threes. Down forward one. Then back to one, forward, one, four. Yeah, see, you can actually do this mid screen, you just run out of space. Unless you're on like, was it Yakushima stage or something where you have way more space to work with. So I do kind of recommend saving a, loca a location here and then just reproducing and doing this over and over again. And with that, finally, after two hours of video and many, many more hours before that practicing and learning this stuff, my seven pages of notes are finally done. Uh, can you imagine if I actually had a combo part in this video? Holy... Anyway, hopefully this video helped with something at least, at least maybe the Duke Light cancels. Also, if you play Lily and have any other tips and stuff, leave it in the comments because it'll help at least me when I go into ranked with Lily. Also, if you liked, leave a like, dislike if you didn't. And now I must become a Lily player and go customize for six hours.